So we're here today at the Camden Community Garden with Martin, and um, we really just wanted to sit down with you and, and get a feel for, for what the, the community garden is and the idea behind it. And The Camden Community Garden is an idea that I hatched in my head about four years ago. I wanted to get my church, Community of Joy, uh, outside of the building. Uh, and get into the neighborhood and get to know our neighbors and do something to be a blessing in our neighborhood. I attended a Green SBY meeting, the inaugural meeting of mm -hmm. Green SBY, and Mayor Jake Day, now Mayor Jake Day, then City Council President, uh, made the suggestion that we would look at city-owned lots. And I knew exactly then which lot we wanted because I wanted to be able to engage children in this process and this playground that's adjacent to the lot just made it perfect. This neighborhood feeds Pinehurst School, so we felt if we could connect uh, kids with kids here in the, in the garden, on the playground, and at school, we could help change the trajectory of their lives. So what impact have you seen by, by putting this here? What impact have you seen? It's been incredible. Uh, I'm told by neighbors that the element that hang, hung on this in this gazebo mm -hmm. on the playground uh, has changed. Uh -huh. We've not seen any crime uh, on the, the garden itself. Uh, a little bit of mischief with children, but that's to be expected. Sure. Um, we've seen neighbors come together mm -hmm. in the garden, uh, introduce themselves, work side by side. Kids play with kids, enjoy getting to know one another. Tell us a little bit about some of the stuff you grow, some of the activities that you have here. We grow just about anything uh, and everything that you would normally grow in a garden. People come and pick what's ready. We don't pick it for them. We have 16 beds and we're in the process of adding eight more mm -hmm. this spring to keep up with the demand of people that, I mean, it just it became an instant success. In fact, it's become such a good success here. You guys are actually looking at other places in the we community. Are. We are. We developed a model that we believe can be reproduced easily in other places, and we work, we're work. we working with the city. Uh, the next one is going to be this spring, the Boundless Playground over behind the Chipman Center that is city-owned that they have now leased to St. Francis Catholic Church. And then joining St. Francis will be Bethesda United Methodist, uh, Trinity, United Methodist, and Wicomico Presbyterian. It's safe to say you guys took a, a negative stigmatized lot and you turned it into a, a positive piece of the community. And um, you know, being a resident of the city of Salisbury, I can't thank you enough. And um, it's been our pleasure. I think it's a great thing that you've done and, and I'm glad we were able to sit sit down with you so we can tell everybody else about the great things you guys are doing. Sure.